Alright, check out my little ghetto, um, my ghetto grow box. Um, a little bit of light leaking wasn't a problem, and the smell wasn't a problem. So I made a cardboard box instead of spending 200 bucks on a, um, on a plastic one or whatever. But it's a regular 150 watt HPS, um, <coughs> light. H sun supply or whatever and I don't really give a shit about what I put him in cause I'm just a regular I don't know, just a college student you know, experimenting, trying to f grow out this is my first indoor grow so, I'm not really caring about my outcome I'm just, it's all for uh, experience for my next grow um, what I have, these are our clones um, this one right here um, I don't know what it's called, but the initials were TK. Um, something Kush. Starts with a T. All, all four of these plants fit in like, uh, well, they, when I bought them, they were in a cardboard box, cardboard bag, like twice the size of my hand. And now, each individual one is that size, and I've only had them for two weeks. This one's flowering. Right here can't really see, but it's just starting to grow a lot of little green hairs, and a few white ones, but mostly green ones, and, um, blah, blah, but, uh, sorry I'm distracted, I'm looking at other stuff, looking at stuff I didn't really recognize, but, um, anyways, this one had two heads, and it broke off because my fan was too high, now there's my fan, by the way, cut, it's a little room fan, it's cut out, it has like a heater setting, but it's, I disabled it, like I so got my soldering iron and I burnt that option off so it'll never accidentally go on heater. And it's a nice cooling fan, nice, I bought mylar reflector, lined a cardboard box, oh, there's the vent top, and there's the fan, covered it because it was too high, and when the plants get a little thicker and stronger, I'll take that off. They broke when they were very thinner. This one's a northern light, um, northern light and silver haze. Sativa. It's growing wild. Just uh, growing out of control. Um, this one is a geezel or geezel, I don't know how to say it. I bent it. Bent it sideways. And it was like perfect. It was a perfect sideways. But, um, but, um, it just started growing out on the side of the pot, growing in, like, a different space, so I just took that st string off or whatever that was anchored down to the floor, and it's now growing back upwards. But that one's growing pretty cool. Beautiful. There's a geezel or geezel, I don't know how to say it. I guess it's a sour D mixed with G13. <laughs> or crossed. That's what they said um, at the clinic when I bought these clones. And this one is a TK, as I said. And this one flowering is also a geezel or geezel. I'm guessing it's geezel. Um, and then, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. You'll be able to see more, see like the little flowers and stuff. I'll show, I'll have an update video. Uh, of these, on my plants and stuff. This one is actually is three weeks in the, today is Monday, in two days it'll be a Wednesday and it'll be three days, three weeks on Wednesday that this one's been flowering. Um... I've had them for three weeks as of last Sunday, and I started that one flowering a couple days after, three days after. I don't know why this one's banned at the top. I just had it in one of my dark, um, empty dressers flowering for the past 12 hours. Oh yeah, I just started these, this one flowering, and this one in my blender. <laughs> Check out my roots. Look at the roots. I don't know if that's a bad thing that the roots are exposed, but the plant's not dead and it st smells strong and it's getting bigger every day, so it doesn't seem like a problem to me. And that's what I'm going off of. I'm not going off of other people's shit. I'm going off of my plants being alive still. And 
you know, still growing like fucking they're on steroids. <coughs> I guess that soil that I bought was really good, the happy tree frog or whatever it's called. So yeah, all in this little fucking, and that shit in there is just because some of the plants are taller than the others and I try to keep them equal. And uh, higher to the light. I didn't want to, I have unlimited supply of like um, tape and boxes at work so I didn't want to um, keep rebuilding boxes. So I just brought little levels to bring that plants higher and then a few of them are already at floor level and they could just like this one this one I leave on its own this one is on the little white styrofoam stand this one's on the black old jewelry box the flowering one and also I don't even know if it's a problem to have my um my this flowering one because I flower it at night take it out at seven o'clock put it in a dark closet while these ones are on 24 hour vegging that's also what I do and it doesn't harm them in any way so I kept it at that but anyways I don't know if it's a problem that I'm flowering this one in the same grow box as the other one and this one's growing white as hairs man I really need to figure out how to set focus on this such a good camera but I don't know how oh maybe that's it Well, anyways, yeah. There's my vid. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, any questions or comments, I'll take those into consideration. Any negative feedback, I'm just going to laugh at. Um, this is all, like I said, a learning experience for me. So, if you're going to talk shit, just like, don't. Oh, and I figured out this is all curling and stuff due to lack of CO2 and where I was keeping it. To, for the dark cycle when I figured that problem out so please don't comment about the fucked up leaves it's already been solved um thank you and have a good day